Well, I had somebody say to me, that was one of my trimming videos, the one on boots, and they said to me, use the right tool. So I don't know which tool they were referring to, but um, so I thought I'd, I'd show you the tools that I have got, the ones that I use. Um, some of them have cost me a lot of money. I don't use them anymore. Um, and I, I think I've got sort of what works for me best at the moment. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, I began power trimming years ago after watching a video. I think it was Jamie Welts when he was power trimming. I've gone on from there. I've been, I've been power trimming for about 10 years now. So let's just um, have a look at the gear I got. and. Um, I'll spread it all out so you can see everything. Now, of course, I don't, um, I don't use it all at once, um, and I, I really only probably use a couple of basic things, but I'll show you everything I've got. So just hang on a sec, I'll spread it out. Right, we'll start off here. Um, with the basic tools I use, I just got um, this loop knife. I use this, this this knife more than anything, I guess. Just the rigger's gloves, 15 inch nippers. They're pretty sharp. Use them all the time. I can use them down low and use them up high. Various um, different size loop knives. This one cost me $10. It's got a, a ragged edge, but by Jingo can it cut. And of course, smaller one for smaller hooves. Tiny ones, rasps, I go through quite a few rasps, bit of a scabbard there, this is a new, a new rasp waiting there for when I need it, when the feet get a bit harder again, spare handle, wire brush which I never use. Hoof jack I use occasionally, and I'll probably start to rely on that a bit more the older I get. And then the original hoof jack I used, I guess, was this one here, which which I um, I sort of cheated and copied Jamie Jackson's, and I've had this, been, I've been using this for 10, 11 years. That I can adjust it up and down. Um, I got the cradle if I want to put that on it. Thought I'd lost it at one stage, so I went and I made another one. A bit heavier and and um, I had a big big shire horse stand on it one day and the well wasn't real good so it broke it so I end up I, I cut it back and made it one that I just use on for the little Shetlands so I guess mainly what I use is that that and that for 50% of the horses that I do then I moved on and I now use I now use this here which um, cost me quite a bit of money it's 54 volt eight or 18, 18 volt DeWalt. Um, I find that pretty good. It's not as noisy as the other one. stops pretty quick. The um, disc I use on it is a 15 grit or a, a tungsten carbide steel blade which they which I guess that you buy them to work on concrete. Spare battery, 5 amp hour battery. I used to use 15 grit polishing discs but I'd only get, I'd be lucky to get four horses to trim out of one of these. Um, that's got what $3.90 that cost me. 
these these ones cost me twenty two dollars. This is it here, cost me twenty two dollars. Um, but so far with the blade that I've or the disc that I've got on it now, I've probably done twelve at least twelve full horses with it. Um, move over here. I've got the basic tools that I use for um, for pulling the shoes off horses when I do. I love doing that. I don't tell my clients, but I'd do that for free. I'd pull shoes off. Just a grubby old um, kit case I've had for a while. I did try at one stage. Um, I tried using this electric hoof knife. This electric hoof knife. And by the time. Um, I imported that from the States and got it here and went through three different heads. That cost me over seven hundred dollars. By the time um, I imported that from the States and got it here and went through three different heads, that cost me over seven hundred dollars. Um, I ended up buying the same thing in Australia. I didn't know you could get them here. Um, Proxon. I ended up buying exactly the same thing here for about two hundred dollars. The biggest downfall with them is the two forty volts, of course. But then I overcame that by getting an inverter for the car, which I plugged in to do that, but the, the cords still get in the way. Um, this is my uh, medical kit, of course. What have I got here? I've got my diamond tools in there for keeping things sharp and that sort of thing. Not that I've ever got to cut much steel or anything, got that. I've got more, um, I've got more rasps there. Also what I've got in here is my dental tools. And what do I use dental tools for? I don't use them for dentaling, that's for sure. But what I do use them for is for cleaning out CD toe and that sort of thing. Even an engineer's scribe that comes in quite handy. Good pair of shears, that's all good. Copper sulfate down in there. I've also got um, magnesium sulfate in there, and I've got methylated spirits, and I've got just about everything. I've got fiberglass bandages, I've got um, cut resistant gloves. Syringes, epoxy, bandage, yeah, so that's all it. Um, that's my range of tools. Um, I'll sell, quite happy to sell these over here for a couple of hundred bucks for anybody that does any woodwork or anything, they'll probably find it quite good. If um, anybody would like to know um, anything more about the tools I use or how I use them, they want to see me do anything, apart from injure an animal, of course. Um, only too happy to show you. So don't forget to um, to like and, and share this video and um, make some more money for all these guys I've got up the paddock here. Keep them in feed. So I'll catch you the next time around. All the best. Bye.